Esther Bati finds it hard to speak about what happened to her. She tells me her father took her out of school when she was 14 to prepare her for marriage. She says some of her family members got angry when they saw her talking to a boy. They were the one time brought kings in the night and they were starting beating me. When they finished beating me, they said I should go. And it's when I, I went to the house, my father was not there. And that night and I ran to my mother's place here. Yeah. She's back in school now, but it's been a difficult time. She got pregnant at 16. Like many young girls, she thought that was the best way to get someone to take care of her financially. Lamnatu Adam runs a non-governmental organization that works with young girls in the northern region of Ghana. She and her colleagues mentor and teach girls about their rights and also rescue those who are forced into marriage. If we do not find a way to let children be able to stay in school and complete, certainly we're going to still have a lot of dropout of school, a lot of uh, women in future who will not be economically even be empowered, not to talk about their representation and decision making. This is a farming community and one of the poorest regions in Ghana. Many parents still believe that in order to marry off their sons, they need to offer up their daughters in exchange, regardless of their age and whether or not they're in school. The government admits that until recently, efforts to tackle this problem have been ineffective. We have agreed that for a period of three years to start with, there's going to be action. So and community engagements are ongoing, working with institutions that work like the police, like the social welfare who provide direct services. We're doing it jointly. Thanks to Lamnatu, these girls know where to go if they need help. She wants the government to fulfill its promises in order to help change attitudes across the country. Amabwateng, Al Jazeera, Chamba, Northern Ghana.